Hey everybody, Chad here. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to travel with international documents or Thai documents. Now, lots of times I do a lot of videos on Thailand, what's going on, what's going on in Thailand, how to travel to Thailand, what to do in Thailand and so forth, how to buy things in Thailand. And in this video, you know, it, it, it does relate to Thailand, but you can do this for no matter where you go internationally, but how to travel internationally with your documents needed for entry into that country. So this might be common sense, but if you don't travel a lot, this you're new, um, maybe you go on vacation one week or two weeks, uh, you might not, you might not, you, you know, you might not have to do some of this stuff. Some of this stuff nowadays, sometimes you have to do just because of the, the nature of what we're in right now, the nature of 2020 and 2021, you know what I'm talking about. So, you know, that has changed a lot of things for entry into different countries, depending upon what country you come from. So that being said, how do I travel with, uh, international documents, documents needed for entry and things. I'm not going to go into details as, you know, I'm going to speak broad. I'm not going to go into details exactly what you need because rules always change. And it's, if you're talking about rules, what I need and stuff like that, it's easier to call the immigration office. For example, if you're going to Thailand, call Thailand immigration and they'll tell you exactly what you need to do and exactly what you need. So that being said, let's go on. Okay, so when I travel to Thailand, okay, I traveled during the Sandbox program. That's kind of opened, opened up, I think, like in 2021. Sometime, I think, summer of 2021. So that was like right after 2020 when, you know, no flights are going out. People want to travel. Thailand was one of the first countries to open up for international travel. So you can actually travel to Phuket and so forth and so forth. <clears throat> so... And it's also going to need to determine what type of visa you have, okay? Because I went on a visa. So I first went on a three-month, 90-day stay tourist visa. Then I kept on extending it. <clears throat> so with, you have to understand, each visa you have, it's going to be different requirements. It's going to be this, the same requirements that you have a tourist visa. Then sometimes it's, it's an additional documents. So you're going to want to know what type of visa you want and the documents that you need to file that visa. So this is after, this is after the fact. Okay, I've done my visa. Okay, I'm traveling. I'm driving to the airport. This is what you want to do before you drive to the airport. <laughs> okay, so this has kind of been through a little bit of World War III. So I traveled with it a lot and, uh, and, and it's been kind of tossed around. Every time I went to Thai immigration, I had to take this bad boy with me. So what I did was any, any I'm not going to show you my copies just because it has personal information on there. So just to kind of tell you copies I've made. So basically what I did was I took the originals. You want to take originals with you, okay? Because sometimes they want to see originals. Lots of times they won't keep their original, but they want to see their original. But they will keep a copy of it. And you can't assume, okay, this is where the rubber meets the road a little bit. You can't assume that they're going to make copies for you. Okay, sometimes they will if they're in a nice mood that day. Sometimes they won't. If they're making copies for everybody, by the time they get to you, they're sending you off to a copy machine somewhere in the airport. You know what I mean? So you don't want that. So you want to come prepared. So this is what I do. I take all my originals and I make about five copies each of all my originals. I have the originals in here plus five copies of each original. Because why I'm bringing copies is because... They take them for their records. So, and I'll give you some examples why they do that. You know, just what happened to me and you know, other people, of course, but mainly me. So, I mean, I have copies of my passport. Okay, the pages of my passport in here. I have copies of my visa. Okay, because your visa, I don't know if you ever had a visa before. Your visa goes in your passport book. Let me find my visa real quick. And they put it inside your passport. So that's my visa right there. So I take, I usually take every page of my passport, but mainly the front page with your picture and information on it and a copy of your visa. So I, I have five copies of that. I have copies of, mm, copies of, if you go to Thailand on a visa, depending upon the documents, you might have like a Ministry of Foreign Affairs documentation you have to fill out before, before entry. I have copies of that. 
I have copies of my questionnaires. I have copies to the Thai consulate. Um, again, if you're vaccinated, non-vaccinated, if you are vaccinated, you have to have original and copies because sometimes they'll take a copy. Uh, copies of any booking confirmations to ho hotel resorts. Bring You have your originals, but bring copies, okay? And that, that goes, why do you bring copies of that? But they want to know where you're staying. Sometimes they take copies of it. And you don't want copies anyway if you're a long stay because you have to prove where you're staying if you go to Thai immigration. So you want copies, okay? I went through the, the Phuket Sandbox at the time. I had copies of the, the Sandbox program. I had, I had copies of my insurance, but you had to have insurance, travel insurance. You had to have it. It wasn't a, an if. You had to have it. If you didn't have it, you couldn't prove travel insurance. Well, they wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't even be allowed to be on the airplane, okay? You know, then if you get there, if you sneak past there, once you got that Thailand, they're really going to go through all your documents and they're, you know, they're not, they're going to avoid your entry and send you home. So, so I had, I kept copies of everything. At the time, the sandbox program, I had to, I had to get um, a nose swab. I can't really say the word in the videos anymore, but I had to get a nose swab five times. I had copies of that. Um, that way, and I had copies of the Bangkok Hospital uh, saying that, you know, I was negative and all that stuff just in case, you know, just in case uh, they wanted, anywhere I was, they wanted to see that. But I had, you know, I had copies of everything. So the, so the basis of, of this information is make copies. I made five copies each of everything. I put it in a folder and I, this was in a carry-on. Okay, I don't put it in my suitcase because if your suitcase gets lost, okay, all your documents are in your suitcase. So don't put it in your suitcase. I know this is common sense, but don't put it in your suitcase. Use it as a carry-on. Usually as a carry-on, I have a backpack that always stays with me and it's in my backpack. Once I get to my resort, this goes in the safe, but it's all resorts most of the time come with a safe. So lots of times if you go to the condo, most condos come with a safe. So make sure this is the, this is in a safe because this stuff, all your documents, everything, your basically your life is in here when you're in another country. So make sure it's in a safe and you give nobody the passcode. <laughs> Remember that, nobody the passcode. So that's simple and easy. That's simple and easy. But this is what somebody taught me because when I knew, when I knew that I was gonna stay long stay in Thailand, and you know, I talked to people who, who traveled a lot, did long stays, country hopped, and that's and that I just did. I just did what they told me. It's like Chad, get a folder, uh, make five copies of everything, um, because they take your copies. And this is and this is why you want to make the copies. Okay, it's common sense. People might take them. You know, you at least have copies just in case you lose it or what. Or you lose a copy or whatnot. You lose the original. You still have a copy of it. But when I, the first time I flew to uh, Thailand through the sandbox program, I was doing, I was going, I was going to do a long stay. It wasn't a straight flight. Okay. I flew from my first time I flew from, I was in Ohio visiting my family. So I flew from Ohio to Chicago and from Chicago, that's where the international flight, you know, we changed over the international flew, flew from Chicago to Abu Dhabi, then Abu Dhabi to Phuket. At the time during the sandbox program, they weren't allowing any flights. Um, you could fly into Bangkok, but you weren't allowed to fly from Bangkok to Phuket because they weren't allowing, at the time, see Thailand wasn't allowing any locals into Phuket. It was only foreign, it was only foreigners. So you weren't allowed to fly to Bangkok, then Bangkok to, to Phuket. You only were allowed to, to fly directly into Phuket from another country. So I, so I had you know several connecting flights there. Okay, this is where the copies come in. At each connecting flight, they took copies. No joke. <laughs> so if I didn't have copies, I just had the originals, I would have had to scatter off and make copies. And I, and I saw a lot of guys do this. Trust me, they, they didn't come prepared. They just come like they never traveled before and they would go up, they would go up there, we, we talk to the stewardess or the customer service, you know, checking in and they don't have copies of nothing. And they're, they're in the steward, and then the, the, and I've seen people even starting to board the plane, and they're checking you at the boarding of the plane. They're checking your documents even at boarding, and people didn't have copies, but they wanted to take copies, and they're scattering around trying to make copies at the last minute. So if you want to give yourself a heart attack, <laughs> to make yourself copies. Yeah. 
because I'm telling you, some some of these guys are running around. There's they, you tell they're sweating because they think they're going to get denied to. They, they're going to get denied right at the airport. They're not going to be able to not not. They're not going to. Uh, they're going to deny them flying. So make copies. So every you know every stop when I flew from when I went when I went in and checked in in Ohio. They took copies. They checked all my paperwork and they took copies. When I flew to Chicago to board internationally, they, 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 how they do it there? Once I went through security, they basically checked all my copies at boarding, and they took, and they took copies with it. Checked all my paperwork because of the visa I had, and they took copies. Okay. Then when I got to Abu Dhabi, they did the same thing at boarding because you're not checking in because you're just a connecting flight. So at boarding, they checked, they checked all your paperwork and they took copies. <laughs> then when I finally got to Thailand, Thailand had, it actually ran pretty smooth. It sounds kind of stressful. It sounds like, oh my God, you had to do so much, but it's actually ran pretty smooth. Uh, Thailand had their own entry requirements. The only thing, uh, the you, um, certain things you had to do, uh, it ran really smooth. But they checked all your paperwork, and guess what? They took copies. So that being said, I mean, just right there, I mean, it. I probably gave away at least three three copies of my of my originals. Um, um, so, you know, they do take copies and you just want to be prepared. You don't want to just show up with the originals or you just, you don't want to show up just with one copy because you don't want to be in that bind where you get somebody having a bad day and they're just like, they're not going to make copies for you. And they're just like, oh, you know, go, you have to go way down here and make copies. And you know, if you're late getting back, miss your flight. So what, um, you should have came prepared. Uh, so so I'm kind of hammering this home. This kind of sa saved me doing this. Like um, to me, when I fl when I tr actually fl traveled to Thailand my first time, uh, this this was this was a godsend. This was I was just, I was just sitting there all relaxed because I had everything. I had copies. I did everything what I was supposed to do. While other people were running around stressed out because they think they're going to miss their flight because they didn't make copies of anything. And the people, the, the people checking you in didn't want to make copies. <laughs> but that being said, make copies, make copies of your passport, make copies of your visa, uh, make copies of everything that anything you're taking documents, anything related to travel, make copies, uh, plain and simple. Um, then also in here, I have my, I have additional passport photos. Uh, I did another video on that. So please watch that. Uh, but why you need additional passport photos. Um, passport photos or just the, the little photo like if you the photo you see on your passport that's what I'm talking about um, any I mean anything and everything is in here other than that my friends uh, that's it uh, thanks for listening you know, if you think this helps out you know you can comment I can you know I try my best to to uh, you know answer the comments sometimes I'm like anything I'm human I get busy with other things I don't answer a lot of stuff but if I can answer it and help you out you have a question you can comment uh, of course, you know, you can follow if you think this helps somebody else share it and I'll see you in the next video.